I probably eat eight chocolate chip cookies a night. They're always homemade and I have one recipe that I eat. And if it doesn't taste like the recipe, I'm not eating it. Next question, please. We're gonna do a little ask me anything. I have ChatGPT, ask me any questions. And hopefully ChatGPT asks questions that you wanna see. Garrett and I are gonna do something fun tonight. I am gonna put on a super cute fit. I'm feeling like cozy chic, so definitely gonna have a coat. I've been on a journey in figuring out how to elevate my wardrobe. And one of the biggest things I've been working on are jewelry and fragrances. I have these amazing pieces from Anna Luisa on. I've been completely obsessed with this ring. It is so perfect. It's so chic, but it's also so simple. I am in my winter nail mode, which is black nails. And so if I can bring a little bit of like the gold in with the black nails, I'm killing it. These are tarnish resistant jewelry. I have gotten some rings from other brands that have been like turning my skin green so quickly. And to be able to have a piece that like doesn't do that, that allows me to know that if I'm investing in my pieces, that they're going to stay chic and look good for a really long time. And they're affordable, like baby. I've bought jewelry from Amazon and it just like doesn't look like the real gold look, if you know what I mean. Where the Ana Luisa, I feel like it actually looks like the true yellow gold that I would like to have. I compare everything to like my Cartier uh, and like the same color. You know you're gonna be out here looking real luxe for affordable prices and that's the goal. I also have some earrings, but I don't know what earrings I'm gonna put in, so we'll put those on at the end of the YouTube video. How did I come up with my influencer name? Well, I wanted it to be my name. I wanted to do Just Kai, which I thought was really cool because it went from like Kai and Garrett to Just Kai, but then Garrett was like, that kind of sounds like everybody thinks we went through a breakup, which I see that point. It wasn't available. It's Kai Denise was free and that's how I picked it up. I did message people saying like I would pay them a hundred bucks just for their handle. And they're not even posting. Uh, okay, moving on. Kai means lovable. I think South African. I have two birthmarks on me and both of them are kind of in the shape of a heart. Let's see if I can find them. I can't find them, just my guns. Woo, it's not as weak as I thought it was. I feel like I'm pretty lovable. So the name fits me. I'm 27, about to be 28 in February. I'm a Pisces, whatever that means. But I do know that I love the water, so I'll take it. I was born and raised in Idaho, which has its pros and cons. I will never move back to Idaho. I have a younger brother. What other facts are just kind of like the basics to like get out of the way? I've been dating my boyfriend for 11 years. My boyfriend would like to tell you that he's white, pros and cons. <laughs> Let's fucking get into it, I'm bored. Who inspired you to pursue a career in fashion? So I was working at Amazon, feeling super depressed, feeling super unfulfilled and feeling like I knew that I was meant for just like living a happier, better life. And I had been doing a lot of reflecting, figuring out like, okay, Kai, well, what are the things that you enjoy doing? I was born loving fashion. I am really good at creating content. I love being in front of the camera and I love to travel. And when I say I love to travel, I just want the flexibility to be able to go wherever I want. And TikTok had blew up over the pandemic and I saw people like the D'Amelios, whatever Ray girl name was. I saw these creators becoming like super successful and I was like, I can do that. I know I have all the skills needed in order to do that. Why would I discount myself from being able to do everything that I love in one job? How did you pick your influencing niche? I love fashion, so fashion was obviously easy. I specifically love luxury fashion. So that is the space that I wanna to try to get into. I'm really excited and really blessed to say that it's happening. I was actually talking to an influencer at an influencer panel and she shared with me that the most highest paying niches are beauty and skincare. I was like, okay, well, I already love beauty and skincare. I just need to spend more time like filming those different aspects. So I started tacking that on at the end of the day like if I'm gonna be a full-time influencer, I need to be in the spaces that are generating revenue that do excite me. How would you describe your fashion? I would describe it as streetwear chic. I will always love being a classy baddie, but then I started like really looking at the fashion in New York City and being obsessed with the streetwear vibe. Obviously I couldn't do a complete flip of my wardrobe at the time. It takes a long time to build a wardrobe. So I was like, you know what? I definitely wanna go more into the streetwear because I learned that I feel like a fucking bad bitch when I'm in a streetwear outfit. So I was like, you know what? That's what I need to start leaning into. So I started like playing around and my social media manager, Nizam, was like, yeah, you know, I would describe your fashion as streetwear chic. And I'm like, 
say less. I also really love playing on a mix between masculine and feminine. And so you'll see me like playing around with mini skirts, but also like oversized stuff at the same time. And I love that for me. What are some things about you that your community may not know? I'm a really picky eater. I'm a really big homebody, that's huge. Financial security is like my number one. I have really bad social anxiety and I'm a complete neat freak. Everything is like in its place and my house is like always like that. I'm not one of those people that are like, oh my God, I have to clean for the photo. Like obviously, yes, I have to clean better for the photo, but my house is like already 99% that way. So fun facts. How would you describe your personal philosophy? I forgot to put sunscreen on at the very beginning, so doing that now. My personal philosophy is we are so capable of creating the life that we want to create. And if there is a life that you see for yourself, don't let anything, anyone, or even yourself let you think that you can't get that. And it will be hard, but you can do it. You deserve it and you should do it. And don't let anything hold you back. A lot of people have been coming to me saying, hey, I'm really inspired because you just believe that you can do it and, but, and you just do it. And I'm just kind of like, period, slay, like we all can. I've always been working backwards. How can I make my life happy and the most fulfilling? And here I am. Looking back at your journey, what was your proudest moment? <sighs> How's that looking? So getting rid of my bags. I have a lot of moments that I feel like I should be proud of, like getting a full ride to go to college. But I feel like what I'm proud of is I remembered that I actually didn't want to finish the application, but I was like, what if I get it? And I was like, I'm gonna just finish it. And then I ended up getting a scholarship. And I just feel like that is a testament to like why I always feel like I should go the extra mile or just put in the extra effort. I see girlies like putting this in the light areas and other areas. So I'm gonna try that. My other proudest moments are that I think it was like my junior year, I wanted to change my major and I did it because I realized that I wasn't going to be happy continuing to pursue a pre-vet route. And I just like really trusted myself that I know I'm making a big pivot, but this is gonna be worth it. And when I look back at my life, I'm just like so proud of myself. How has living in New York City impacted your perspective on fashion? New York has taught me that you can wear anything, anywhere, anytime, and it's fine. I went out wearing like pearls all over my face on like a Sunday evening. And the number of compliments that I got, just like so incredible. I wore like a complete mesh outfit out to just like, essentially a Broadway show. That was pretty crazy. In what ways do you strive to empower others through your platform? I feel like I'm giving like a Grammy speech right now with this light in front of me too. I really feel like it's just that we can all do it. Do not ever doubt yourself. You are strong enough to do it. And when you remove the voices of others and you identify exactly what you want, then you're going to live the most fulfilling and powered life ever and be living at your most authentic, highest power self. And that feeling of alignment is so powerful that we all deserve to feel that. So I wanna empower people to believe that. Okay, let's talk about something a little lighter. I'm gonna try doing some eyeshadow. Gonna get tape. Where are your favorite places that you've lived? New York City, hands down. This is my first time using tape, y'all. Definitely not applying this the best, but we're going with it. New York is just like so alive. The people are really dope. It's also been the hardest place I've ever lived because it is so expensive. Like I'm literally paying $8 for a half gallon of milk. That's like insane. I've learned so much about myself and my partner and the world that nowhere but New York City could have taught me. And I hope I can be here forever. Who are your role models in the industry? Um, interesting enough, I don't know any of them by name, but the vibe that I always go for is authenticity. I will follow people just because they are authentic and they're pushing the limit, you know, like taking interesting pieces and putting them together. And I just feel so inspired by the creativity that some of these creators have. Okay, I'm gonna take it off. Is it good? Let me know your ratings. What is your guilty pleasure? Cookies, chocolate chip cookies. I actually have no guilt about it. I have guilt about how many chocolate chip cookies I eat. I put them at different angles, embarrassing. I probably eat eight chocolate chip cookies a night. They're always homemade and I have one recipe that I eat. And if it doesn't taste like the recipe, I'm not eating it. Next question, please. What are your future goals personally and professionally? 
professionally, I wanna really grow my platform so that I can reach as many minority women as possible and talk about the power of removing your limiting beliefs and building a success mindset. I want to help other influencers be successful. I want to develop my own clothing brand. I'd also love to go into like junior high schools of low income communities and talk about some of the things that I wish I would have learned sooner. Personally, I want to continue to discover myself. I want to get engaged. I want to learn how to laugh more and learn how to relax. I am going to do a brown lip liner look. I kind of need to make sure that I understand what I was gonna wear before I decided to do that look. Some PR that came in the mail are this dagger and stone leather bomber and like a maxi. This came in my Rent the Runway. She's so good and honestly, this might be it and so soft. What is your favorite clothing piece? I love to buy coats. I am a coat whore. I have no shame about it. I will have a cloak closet the size of a master bedroom, period. Manifestation. What is the best thing about being an influencer and the worst? The best thing about being an influencer is like getting paid to have things in my closet that like I'm completely obsessed with to share with my community is my number one favorite thing. I'm so bad at lip liner, but you're just gonna like buff it anyway. The worst thing about influencing is it's really hard to be vulnerable and even know what being vulnerable means. Sometimes I feel like I get afraid to share things because I'm like, what if that's taken the wrong way? Or whether it looks like I'm bragging instead of motivating, inspiring, and empowering. And so that's like a really scary balance to find. I feel like that's what I'm learning as far as my influencing journey is like put whatever I want, however I want it, and the right people are gonna be able to come. And I've met so many amazing people and I just hope that I can continue to talk to all of you and that I can reach even more and more and more people at the end of the day. What is one of my biggest lessons that I've learned in 2023? Maybe I can try on some stuff while I talk about what I learned. I'm gonna stand and nobody's gonna be able to see it. Interesting, it feels like real leather. Oh my God, is this the back? It's the back, that's hilarious. I think one of my biggest lessons is listening to your body. Your mind can tell you a lot of information that's valid and your body can tell you a lot of information. These are so cute. Oh my God, these are my fave. The jewelry is so important to have in a wardrobe. That's what I really learned, taking things from fashion to fashion. I think I'm gonna style around this. Typical girl fashion, I've changed my outfit. I'm doing all black with this amazing coat. I'm going to wear a simple black thigh high and I'm gonna wear tights. I just got these from SheerTech. Rapid fire facts. My favorite feature about myself is my smile. My eyes are like a reddish brown. My favorite color is chartreuse green. My favorite season is fall. My favorite dog is, I'm not gonna say, I'm not gonna say. My favorite designer is Alexander Wang. My favorite shoe is a thigh high boot. My dream vacation is Africa. Here's the final look, and I hope that you all love getting to know me. My jewelry is on for the evening, and a Louisa ring that's stunning, this bracelet, these bracelets. My favorite, these earrings. Anna Louisa is currently running their biggest sale, 35% off for Black Friday, Cyber Monday. Go find the link in my bio and go buy the cute stuff. Now time for date night and time to figure out what we're even doing, but at least I look bomb. Garrett's lucky. Subscribe, comment, like, and turn on the notification bell to hear more from It's Kai Denise. And I will talk to you later. I share food with my dog from my mouth. I cannot believe you're on the video. Why?